Hey. I know you're in there. Can I come in? People are asking where you've been. They say to have courage. And I know that you are trying to. But I'm right out here for you, please. Just let me in. Look, you don't have to open the door, but I'm not leaving here either. I'm sitting on this floor until you're ready for me. You don't have to talk, but just listen. Do you remember that time when we went to go to the beach, but I was stubborn and I really wanted an ice cream, <laughs> so you let me. We went to that ice cream store that was across the road and ugh, I was so excited for this limited edition flavor they had. What was it again? It was like black cherry, coconut, or something. It was so good. And then like, we were walking down that pathway that reached the edge of the sand. And there was that stupid little pothole or something. I don't remember, but I fell over face first into the ground. <laughs> I dropped my ice cream and all you did was laugh. You laughed your head off and I rolled over and I cried <laughs> over an ice cream. <laughs> That's like a six-year-old man. And instead of helping me up, you sat down and you positioned yourself next to me and you just sat there. And I love you for that. So caring and understanding, even over something as silly as ice cream. <laughs> This is why I love you. You were there for me, regardless of that situation. And I want to be here for you. It's just us, together. We have each other. What do you want to do? Come here. I know you said you don't want to be touched. But I love you. And I need to hug you. I need you to know that I'm here for you. No matter what. No matter how hard this thing is for you right now. What you're going through. You're not alone, okay? Look at me. Look at me. 